good one for you. You ready for this one? Here we go. Let's, I'm gonna let's go. This. I'm going to prepare yourself for razzle, mother effing dazzle. Am I the asshole for not wanting my mom's boyfriends anywhere near my vagina? Okay. <laughs> and there's an update. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Okay. So it's been an absolutely insane 48 hours, and I'm completely at a loss about what to do next. I'm currently at a friend's house and trying uh, this to type this on the phone. In the middle of the night last night, like 3 a.m., I'm woken up by my mom absolutely banging on my bedroom door and shouting at me. I open the door, and she and the, the creep are both there. She's totally wired and obviously on something. She's she drinks a lot and sometimes she uses metamphetamines. Yeah. Metamphetamines. She can it's get meth. really aggressive and angry when she uses meth, so I'm used to this. Okay. The creep close to the door behind her and Wait, the creep closest to the door behind her, and meanwhile, she's incoherently shouting and rambling something about demons. The creep then yells at me. He says, like, see what you did to her? This is your fault. You're killing her, and so on and so forth. He grabs my phone and out of my hands and says, I'm not allowing any internet. Uh, this is this is this is gonna this is gonna be a good one. I can already tell it's gonna be crazy. So my mom calms down a bit, and the creep sits down on my bed and starts explaining. He says he didn't tell my mom the whole truth uh, uh, before because it's so horrible. It's not that my insides are messed up from having sex. He says I actually have a demon inside me from engaging in immoral sexual acts, a literal demon from having sex and masturbating. And he says he's seen this kind of thing before in his clinical practice and he says he's known he knows of a cure uh, for it my mom is twitching and rambling like the whole time he's explaining it so nsfw what does nsfw mean forgot he, uh nsfw he says he's going to force me to wear a chastity belt so i can't have sex or touch myself and to get the demon out he's going to unlock he's going to unlock me once a week and stimulate me to climax. And what? And <laughs> yeah. And he says, "Mom is totally on board with this, and there's going to they're going to force me to submit to it." So obviously, I'm like, "Fuck this!" I'm saying, "Go fuck yourself!" I'm not doing that. And then he grabs my wrist. This is go this is really going in the direction I didn't know where it was going. Uh, grabs my wrist and sort of pins me on the bed and says. You know what, you little brat, we're going to do this right now. There should have been a trigger warning for all this. My whole body fills up with adrenaline or something. I don't even know what, I, but I fucking, I'm fucking wired, and I straight up bite his chin hard, and he yells in pain, and I run to the door and open it and run out, to the out of the house and into the woods behind the house. I didn't even think about leaving my phone behind. I've walked to my friend's house before about a mile from the house, but this was the middle of the night and I was scared out of my mind. Something else opened up in, in my mind and I wasn't even thinking. I was just doing, just running and not even looking back. I just running through the woods. And at one point I heard the creeps shouting at and saw a flashlight in the distance and I just kept running. So I finally get to my friend's house and I bang on the door. Her mom answered and I managed to say my mom's boyfriend tried to, you know, SA. Yeah. Uh, I don't even talk for the, uh, the oh, I'm sorry, I skipped something. She understood immediately and let me uh, in and says I can stay there for the time being and that she, she'll drive me to the police station on the, an hour away. And there's another paragraph uh, after that, but damn, uh, this this went way beyond what I thought was gonna go, what was going on here. Um, but it ends with, I don't even talk uh, for the drive. I'm just totally numb. We get to uh, we get there and I go in and say my mom's boyfriend tried to SA me. I get taken into a back room and this older detective guy, I guess, takes my statement. Now this guy seems like the stereotypical good old boy. He seems really skeptical of my statement from the moment I start explaining it. He's poking all these holes in it and he says this tone, this tone basically. Yeah, right. He says in that tone. Yeah, right. 
and he asks me a bunch of sort of hostile questions, so it feels like I'm the one being interrogated. He says he's heard too many t uh, tall tales from young women and he can smell bullshit. He then asked me if I wanted to retract my statement. What the fuck? Because uh, if they find an inco uh, inconsistency upon investigating, they will prosecute me for filing a false police report. He doesn't even give me advice for women's shelters or anything. Anyway, back in my friend's place now, now going uh, to school this week, could really use some advice about the next step. Damn. What, uh, what do you think about this story? Well, it's... And an am I the asshole story. for not wanting my mom's boyfriend anywhere near my vagina? Well, I mean, it, I, it would be stupid to think she's an asshole and just shows how people aren't believed and how crazy scenarios can come about. And when you put children in, in households where parents are doing drugs and yeah. you've got a lot of mental illness in there and how they get put in danger, that person's in danger. Yeah, this is yeah, from the Am I the Asshole um, subreddit. It's, all, it's only eight hours old. And yeah, danger. That person it, needs help and they need, they need legalities help as well to get out of that household. Yeah, and they're what not, does she do now? That, now that the, the police, uh, the, the stereotypical asshole that doesn't, oh, well, yeah, if, you, if we post any holes in your story or, uh, you know, trying to reverse it and trying to. Um, she tries to find help in the sense of a lawyer and in, in the sense of women's shelters. She has to do her own work. And that's the unfortunate part. Yeah is this is what happens to most women. It's why most things go um, undocumented is because they don't get any help anyways. And any help they do get, it's work they have to do, which is almost impossible sometimes. So well, the, first, the first part of her story right there, she's talking about she probably doesn't want to get her mother in trouble. But at this point, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, well, there's, there's her, 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 her mother is right absolutely there, the drug. putting in, in danger. Whether she wants her mother to get in trouble or not, that's her mother's choices and actions that she has to deal with yeah. now there's always a situation where she is a minor she's obviously a minor in, in the sense of you know she's being forced into stuff well foster care is not even not much better and um so it kind of puts them between a rock and a hard place do you go with the evil that you know or do you go with the evil that you don't know and that's why a lot of people stay in abusive situations yeah. well somewhere from the, the one of the first comments that came through uh, says this is uh, yeah like I said this was eight hours ago it says look if this is real this community will jump through fire to help you please do not make a mockery of a supportive community if it's not real uh, can know. you at That's least hard. note what city or state you live in someone's going to know some uh, someone or something to help you just uh, just helpless in helping you there have been some incredible people here for the past 48 hours reach out to any of them or any of anyone call your school to speak with a principal, a nurse, a counselor, uh, they must contact CPS. Don't be discouraged by a neglected police officer. Contact another police department. They will come help you. Have your friend's mom contact police. Contact any and all family members, and even if they are not local. Please, for the sake of all that is sacred, do not, don't mess with a community uh, for entertainment if this is not true. That's, based, that's the yep. best advice. I, I can see from from the jump. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I say. Like, I, I understand some people always think that these uh, stories, because a lot of people do that. They they all just post something fake on on Reddit just to get the upvotes and just yeah. to get the, uh, the page stuff. But if it's, I mean, if it's true, then I mean, like I said, the first part of the story right there, if there there's drugs involved. I mean, it's it's going to be hard it, if you if mm -hmm. their mother is taken in right away. That'll prove if, if she's if she tests positive for something that that proves at least part of the story, and um, yeah. But but hey, yeah, that was I, I feel like that was some uh, good advice.